What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bike BMX. I've got a package from Amy Grips, and I'm super excited. They sent this out ahead of Dirty Fest. So let's take a look at what we got here. I'm pretty excited, man. Amy Grips was what I ran 99% of the time. In fact, once in a while, I think I ran Mushroom, but man, you had... Mushroom grips were expensive back then. ODI was way more expensive than, than uh, Amy grips. So we didn't, I mean, kids, man, you only have like five bucks to spend on <laughs> your whole bike uh, every month. And grips, you would break out the ends and just destroy them. So, oh man, there's a lot in here. Let's take a look. Now I'm just going to unbox right now because I don't know all, because there's a lot of new parts and a lot of new stuff in here. So. We'll show you there's some new packaging and they've we've got the uh, the classic packaging they're legendary grips and i like i'd love to see them displayed that way um but you're very used to seeing them this way here is the the old school tri uh the raised tri triangles there those are red this is the new packaging and these are the grips that i remember so New packaging in the blister pack, which is really cool. Um, looks like you get a sticker in the back, which is really cool. Uh, and you can kind of feel, feels about the same, and they're grippy, they're, they're soft. Once you break these in, these are probably the grippiest, softest grips you'll run into. You just gotta wear off, you know, about a week or a good one ride, and these things break in pretty quick. But there's the pink color. Here is, see, these ones are dope. I remember these. The cam grips from back in the day. So it's got like a bit of a, the raise in the front over here. So it's, instead of being completely round, it, uh, it has a bit of a leading edge. You can see right here with my finger kind of pointing towards that leading edge. And then uh, you can kind of see in the back, it's got raised bumps here. Very grippy, very soft. These are old school, like you'll remember these. Um, these are the new tri. These are pretty cool. They actually have some bar ends with them. Some recessed tri grips. There you go. And they do have the, the bar ends there. That come with them. Old school classic purple tri grips. Never go wrong with these. I'll probably slap these on my bike right now. show these last because these are cool I've never seen those before um, again here's some recessed tries they're gray with the black uh, you see here you've got the the bar ends that come with them and these are uh, gray dark gray with the recessed tries that's cool cool these might be the ones I put on here are some purple just no flange and they do have the bar in and it, there's the bar in there and it looks like it comes it does so the bar in comes with an allen wrench to install it so that's really cool they give you everything you need very cool is that a different color purple all right it is a different color here's the there's a darker purple and then you have a more lavender pastel purple so two colors of purple that's cool gotta have colors i love that um here is this is awesome the old school bmx tri grip in a package the way i wanted to see it i love this everything about this is so rad um love tri grips and seeing them presented this way instead of in a bag i love that just a little personal thing for me here are some blue uh, no flange grips, but they do. These ones have a uh, the end on them without the bar end, so that's cool. This is what I'm excited to show you guys. So these are the new lock-on grips. Very cool. So they've got the blue with the red, and then the black uh, bar end. So very cool. Love that. Comes with two. Looks like there's two. Allen keys that come with this one. So that's kind of cool. They give you everything you need right here. So 
Here's a red and a blue lock-ons. Here is a dark blue with teal lock-on, like that. Cool look. And then just some classic blue. I think I showed those to you. Oh, it's very cool. Got some, I got an Amy banner I'll hang up in here. That's really cool. That's fun. Oh, these are sick. Some patches, Amy patches for your jerseys or your jackets. Very, very cool. T-shirt. Amy T-shirt there. Got some big stickers for the truck. Very cool. Hey, these are cool. And then some stickers. I'll have these at Dirty Fest as well. So come see me at Dirty Fest. I'll give you some stickers. I'll be at the uh, the Supercross Torque uh, booth over there. So, man, very, very cool. Can't wait to put these on and check them out. It's hard to decide what color I'm going to put on. I think I'm going to go with uh, these red ones. are going to go right on my 29. And these blue ones will probably end up on my... I'll probably put the purples. These ones will go on my uh, AMX 250. So, man, I'm psyched. There's some cool stuff in here. I'm going to unbox these. Stay tuned to this video. Fast forward a little bit. If you just wanted to watch the unboxing, there you go. Look for this type of uh, packaging coming to your favorite BMX store near you. Talk to you in a sec, but if you want to stick, stick to it, I'm going to open these up and do a more detailed look. Let's go. What's up, you guys? All right, let's get on to the actual, like, let's show you what these grips are. So here we go. Here's our, the, these are the, uh, the traditional Amy tries that you all know and love. We love these so much as 80s kids because these were the affordable grips that we could all afford. Uh, they weren't like $30 like a lot of the other competition uh, out there. So... We all just had these grips. You would wear them down and, you know, you'd have like no triangles. Any of those tries left, they'd be all gone and you'd just be rubber. Um, but everyone will remember throwing like a, uh, a quarter. I think it was a quarter and nickel. It's throwing a coin in here as a makeshift uh, bar end at the end of the day, too. It was funny. Um, but here we go. Let's take a look. Pull them out. I'm going to show you what they look like. On my adult hand... There you go. It's how much of the grip it takes up. Now it's if I'm flush against the flange, you got just a little bit hanging out. So these are the little bit smaller, uh, but same size as a, like a mushroom, like a ODI mushroom grip, uh, same feel. So this is the light pink. They do have a fluorescent pink that's coming. Uh, I've, there's pictures of it online, but I haven't seen those yet. And uh, we wanted to get these out before Dirty Fest, to be honest with you. So. Pretty cool. Every grip comes with a sticker, which is really rad. So look for that in the back. Don't just throw it away thinking that's not a sticker because it is. So look for this packaging or the, the plastic packaging, and I'll show you that. So this is the original tri-grip. All right. One more look at the purple tri-grip. Now I have the lavender uh, grips on my bike downstairs. It's a lighter shade than this. It's a little bit more uh, pastel purple. Um, but this is the darker purple here. Again, sticker in the back, new packaging, classic tri-grip. All right, another blast from the past when it comes to Amy grips, the cams. Uh, I'll open these up and to open them, it's just a you pull, right? So the cam grip is really, you'll remember these as soon as I show you the, the shape of it, right? So it's got the, the tri-logo here. But if you look, it kind of goes up to a point here and then goes back down. So it's not just a full oval. Um, it's designed to be like this so that the this part of the flange goes in this part of your knuckle, right? So very, very comfortable, dude. These were like, <laughs> these were the jam back in the day. Um, they were a little bit more than tries. I don't remember a whole lot of people that, that could afford these, but man, like the cool kids had these. Uh, if you look real close, I'll put my hand behind here. You can see that there's this air between there. So that's a grippy, a grip. It's not like hard plastic or anything like that or rubber. Size wise, it's the same as the, uh, the tri-grips that fit on that. It's about the same.
but these are the cam grips. You'll you'll know them and love them. If you've never ridden them, uh, find find a pair out there. Ask to feel them. Uh, ask the shop. Hey man, let me check those out. You might like them. Uh, a lot of us remember had have great memories of the cam grips just because they were cool. Um, it was like kind of like the first tech, first bit of technology I think that you know you really kind of had with some grips back in the day. So really really cool. Um, but these were these were up there with like the B1Bs I think uh, as far as like the the cool factor. The B1Bs had the two color, uh, but you know so does so does Amy with the uh, the others. Here's one that I've never seen before. Um, this is brand new to me as far as Amy grips go. It's a lock on grip. It's the the Pro Tri Lock-On, and they come in three sizes, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. This is the 1.1, which is the smaller uh, size, but let's open this up and take a look because uh, it's pretty cool the way that this, this works. So, you got your sticker. You've got your lock-on grip there, standard lock-on. This is, these come in blue, red, black, and green for the lock on. And then you can just pair it with whatever color grip. Um, and then it's got the Amy grip saver in the back. These are different than the ones you remember. I remember, um, I rode Amy grips until I got sponsored by Jive Handles as a kid. And the Jive Handle ones, you'd pop in, you twist, and the minute you fell, it was hard plastic and it would just shatter. And then you just had a, a bar end inside your bar. It just really didn't do much. Um, but this is actually really, really interesting the way that uh, Amy does this. So you've got your lock on and then you've got your, your, uh, your second lock, I guess we would say with the, uh, the back end of the, uh, the grip saver. So very cool. Very, this is really soft. You guys, this is, this feel, I just, you saw me just open this bag, but this is like, you can kind of, I don't know if you can hear it, it's, it's already grippy. It feels like it's already broke in. I, I would, you could slap this on right now and go for a ride, not fear a thing. Um, but this is the pro try lock on in the 1.1 size. This is the smallest. And this is a typical, it feels just like a regular Amy, uh, tri grip, to be honest with you. This is the blue color. This is the, the basic blue. They do also have a light blue, uh, which kind of to me looks a little bit more teal. And then they have a Maui blue, which is just a lighter shade of the blue, which is a, like a, take this down a few notches. Um, more of like what you call a traditional light blue is the, is the, uh, the Maui blue. You can see it on their website, amygrips.com. Again, here is the traditional packaging with the, uh, just this is the Amy Tri-Grip, regular Amy Tri-Grip purple. Very, very cool. Uh, this one is Flint. Let me open it up for you. Here we have the traditional Amy Tri-Grip, right? This one is flangeless, so you can slide it on, but you do have the flange on the back so your hand doesn't slide off. Um, but this does not have a uh, the grip stop. You can cut it and put a grip stop on there. It's what a lot of us do nowadays. Um, but here's the flangeless version, and that is the purple color. I found some Maui blue. Check it out, you guys. Maui blue, and here's the dark blue. Here's the Maui blue. And then, uh, let's see, size comparison. This is just the standard length. Again, what you remember as a kid, lock-ons are a little bit longer. Man, this is already broken. This one is too, though. This one feels a little bit softer than this one right out of the mold. I don't, can't tell you why. Both of them I just pulled out of the package, but this one's already kind of sticky. It's got like a, it's tack, tacked, tack, tacky. It's kind of tacky. Looking for words here, friends. So anyway, this is the, uh, the Maui Blue. And this is the regular blue. All right. Next up, the Amy. This is a classic. The 702s, right? So this one, the triangles are indented instead of beveled, right? So now 
solid grip with holes that match the uh, the tri logo that's how it looks in my hand super soft again this is really soft i'm surprised uh and then this has the grip saver plus bar ends let's show you what those look like and i just i put these on downstairs and i was really really uh kind of amazed like how cool this this is so here are the grip savers right so typical grip pops in the end like any bar end does screw that in this is a you can kind of see there this plunger goes back expands this inside the bar and holds that in so if you fall this uh this will basically keep the bar in the the metal from hitting the ground uh big thing we were always worried about getting impaled on your bars when we were kids man it happened to a lot of people man you just see big dime taken out of someone's shin or their thigh or like a rib you got hit by a bar so bar ends are important but this is the uh there you go the bar end grip saver plus really really like these Can't wait to show you the ones I put on my bike. We'll go for a ride here in a minute. All right, again, 702s. Here's a gray one, a little bit easier to see. You've got the indented tri logos there. You have the bar end. Again, just slides in through the end of the, uh, the grip, like so, goes into the bar end, or into the end of the handlebars, and that saves you from getting destroyed and, get, and keeps your bars from getting destroyed. We spend so much money on our bars, you guys. Um, take care of them. <laughs> They'll last a long time, but that's how it looks when you're done. There you go. 702s and feel pretty good in my hand. And we've got the Amy rounds here, the tri rounds. Okay. You'll remember that pattern there. There you go. So it just has the, the puffed out triangles. Again, really, really soft. Um, that does feel pretty neat for your hand. Uh, it gives you just a little bit more kind of feel than these, because the tries will get smooth. You're gonna wear out the tries and it's just a smooth piece of rubber that's real grippy. That's what we know and love. That's what we remember. Once you broke in some tries, as soon as those like, the triangles started to wear off on the top, on the classic tries, oh, those grips were so butter. It was like the perfect moment. And you had about, two, three months where you, it was perfect. They, as a kid, you had about two or three months when they were perfect before they started to wear down to the, you start seeing handlebar through there. <laughs> but these, these are the same. You're, you're, you're going to remember that pattern. You're going to remember that look, and you're definitely going to remember the way that feels, um, on your hand when you're holding it. And then just either throw a coin in here or grab the, the grip savers when you're at the shop. Here are the tri lock ons. These are the 1.2, the size. You see, these are, there's three sizes 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. These are the 1.2s. Uh, these are the lock on grips, which are rad. They've got the blue rings, the blue collars on them. These are soft too, you guys. Like, I feel like I can't, that should just drop right out of my hand. These are real grippy, you guys. I mean, like, it, it sticks to your hand. I don't know what the magic they did, unicorn tears or what, but they there's something in here that's soft. This is softer than I remember as a kid by leaps and bounds. Um, excited for that. Um, these have the Grip Saver Plus. And if I look in here, they come with an Allen wrench so that you can install, even if you don't have that size Allen key or hex wrench, you can still run your grip. So super stoked about this. This is, I'm gonna go put these on my uh, my 29 Supercross tonight. Um, we'll show you how to install them. I mean, it's a lock on, about as easy as it gets. You slide it on, tighten here, screw that in, easy stuff. But I'm excited to, to run these. Um, these are soft, you guys. I'm going to hold these out. These are staying. These are going to go on the bike tonight. All right. So 
Amy's been around forever. Amy's been around since I was a kid and I'm old, man. So this is, it's just an iconic brand made in the USA. The grips are made in the USA for so, for my friends that just shout USA made from the top of the hills, Amy's your spot. They are, you, they're made here in the US. Um, they're out of Vegas. So cool, cool company. They've been around forever. They've got lots of new colors uh, coming for their grips. This is just a small sampling. I told them I wanted pink, uh, pink and red and blue. And so that's what I got. Pink, red, blue, or purple, pink, red, and blue is the colors I told them because I've got a pink Supercross that I'm building up. My SX250, my original one, I got it, I got it uh, sprayed hubba bubba bubblegum pink. So I'm really psyched about that. The pink grips will go on there, but they've got some fluorescent grips that are coming. I may ask for those because um, they're bright. They've got fluorescent orange, fluorescent green, fluorescent yellow, fluorescent pink coming. Um, so that's going to be really cool. Bright, bright grips. And then they've got a lot of new styles that I've never seen before as far as like uh, some of the grips that they've got. They're, they're branching out into snowmobiles, into MX, into uh, mountain biking, and then obviously BMX. So they've got their hands in a lot of different sports that if you need grips, Man, everyone grew up with them. You remember what they are. So talk to your talk to your local bike shops. If they're not carrying Amy right now, they can go to amygrips.com, sign up to be a dealer. They actually have some promos going right now. If they're not a dealer, you can get like free shipping and a di heavy discount off of your first order. Super easy to become a dealer. So have your, your local shop hit them up. I don't know which distribution company they're using outside of um, just selling direct. So I don't know. But your bulk, your local shop will know the distribution companies that sell Amy and you can just take them to the Amy Grips uh, website and they can sign up there, get a pretty good discount and some free shipping on their first order. So that's cool. So anyway, Amy Grips made in the USA, lots of colors, three different, at least three different sizes, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. Um, I'm going to throw the 1.2s on my 29 inch Supercross tonight and we'll We'll uh, see how that feels compared to what am I running right now? I think I'm running, um, I think I'm just running some generic grips on there right now. Honestly, I think I'm just running some like specialized I pulled from a mountain bike shop because I needed grips that day. Um, so we'll see. Be a huge upgrade for me. So go check out Amy Grips. You can find them on Instagram. You can find them at amygrips.com. You remember these, you love them. They are just as affordable as they always have been but they've got a lot of quality of life upgrades that, that uh, are really blowing me away. Softer compounds, stronger compounds, lots of new colors, and there's probably four new designs that I didn't even show you yet um, with that, that are out there with the tries and things like that. So they're doing some really cool uh, cutting edge stuff. The grips just aren't here yet. I wanted to get this all done. Uh, but if you are going to Dirty Fest this weekend, look for Amy Grips. They will be out there at a booth at Dirty Fest and take a look at all the cool stuff that they've got out there. We'll talk to you soon, go ride your bikes. Here's a clip of me riding and putting on these uh, red grips real quick, and we'll see you out there on your bikes. Go have fun, y'all. Boop. All right, so I've removed the old grips, gonna throw the new Pro tries on there. And the cool thing, you get two Allen keys in the package, one for the bar end, one for the lock on. So it's pretty standard, it's easy. You slide that on right here, and I'm going to make it so it says Amy right there. The small one. There we go. Pop on this side first. They can do it. Pretty cool. It says Amy made in the USA right on the side of the grip. I'll show you. You slide it on, set up where you want it positioned, tighten down the front. And it's, you don't really have to torque it too much. And then on the back, tighten up the bar end here. And that will give you the triple lock. Here we go. Super, super easy. I'm going to do it backwards this time to see what it's like. So, let's so have it down. 
it's still twisty. I just want to see if I tighten up the back if it kind of helps it lock in. It does. I wouldn't ride it like that, but it does. Lock it on. I'm gonna lock the There you go. It's easy as that. Grips are installed. Let's go ride. It's grip. Be grippy. You can kind of see, man, they're already, they're broke in, man. These are soft. They're not the Amy grips you remember, at least not that I remember. I remember it took a long time to break them in. It's easy to, uh, they're easy to control. Doing a quick test in front of my house, man. There, I'll be honest, man. I didn't expect them to feel good right out of the box. I'm used to a good two week break in the way I remember them, but these are great. <laughs> I like them. 